What's up guys, this Jose over here at Yeehaw Cowboy and today we're going to talk about the difference between a good pair of boots and a cheaper pair of boots. They both look very good as you can see. However, there's going to be some differences on the boots. Look at that one. This is only, I saw it for like 100 bucks on my website. It's a good starter boot you could say. Um, and this is a elephant skin boot which uh, you know I sell for like 500 bucks or so how we're gonna talk about the differences today um, there's a few differences actually on the boots first we'll talk about the lining as you can see on this boot it has the full cow high leather lining on the outside and the stitching try it. see if I can guess to see that in there so you can't see nothing in here no threading nothing like that just full cow hide all the way through very thick that's one thing that separates the difference compared to this one right here this one doesn't have leather it does have leather lining but it is pig skin and you guys can see that a little bit you can see the stitching in there you can even hear it it's a little very very soft very you know you can say cheapy leather that's one of the differences obviously of course the exotic skin there's just the print looks pretty good though like I said, it's a good starter boot. And then, of course, you can tell it's a genuine, you know, pretty much boot. How you can tell between the difference between a real one and a print is if you put both boots together, they're going to be totally different patterns. Just, you can't really tell that much, but if you know boots, you'll definitely, that's how you can tell they're genuine or not. Now, let's talk about this piping too. This little, you see this leather here? I don't know if you guys see it here. All right, that's all leather and on this one I'm pretty sure they used the uh, plastic on here there's all part plastic so little things like that you can tell the difference the shaft to the stitch pattern on this one very cheapy you could say or look at all this detail that goes in here this is only like a let me see how many stitch pattern is it I'm not even sure but you can even really see the patterns there that's the difference. Like I said, good start boot again. And look at this pattern here. See how it kind of like pops out a little bit. Pretty cool. Another thing I noticed, the sole seems a little more uh, like an echo kind of thing. I know it's leather, but I think they use uh, the cheaper leather on the sole. Compared to this one, you kind of hear the difference a little bit. It's a little thicker. It sounds more echoey also on the inside of the actual boot it doesn't have that much padding kind of uncomfortable when you really put them on compared to this good pair of boots here once you put them on you're gonna it feels soft inside not to break them in these probably take you a nice two weeks or so there's little things like that you can tell the difference um what else here oh you see they actually only use about four peggings here compared to these here look at check it out the difference you see these like four or five compared to this one right here all through the sole there just little things like that that makes the difference between a good pair of boots and a cheaper pair of boots Let's see what else I can find on this bad boy here the good thing they both have the Goodyear wall construction which you can replace the the sole but like I said, they're, really, they're not that comfortable. But it's a good starter boot. Other than that, I think, uh, let's see what else you can tell is different here. I'm trying to see. And the manufacturer kind of cut on cost just because, you know, it had the stamp here of the genuine elephant print. Or this one doesn't have that. And you see the sole, they didn't put the, the brand on there. And this one, they put the brand on there. So it costs the manufacturer money to do all these little things, so that's why they're a little bit more expensive. And also just the difference is just, this feels kind of flimsy, and this feels like nice and thick, and you can smell, it smells good, not that good. And what happens with the lining, with this type of lining with the pigskin, your feet start stinking. And with the cowhide, it doesn't stink at all. And like I said, once you put your feet in there, you'll tell the difference for sure. These feel hard, 
<laughs> hard as hell. And then these feel very, very soft. Even if the elephant, it doesn't matter how thick the skin is. Just all the cowhide in there is very, very soft inside. But other than that, that's uh, pretty much it. I think that's about it. But And they feel way lighter, these. Pretty sure because they mix it with, you know, different materials. But you feel nice and heavier. I think that's it. I can tell the difference between, you know, a good pair of boots and a cheaper pair of boots. I think that's it. I'm trying to figure out any other. Oh, yeah, yeah. This one is cowhide on the shaft, too. And I think this is cowhide. Probably not, though. <laughs> but that's how you can tell. You know what I mean? Just little things that the manufacturer, you know, they pass on the same as to you to, to pat, you know, wear those boots and then. You want a good pair of boots, you can pay a little bit more, but... Oh, for sure, these are going to last you a lifetime. And these, they'll probably either rip in a couple months or so. But you got to think about it. You're paying 100 bucks, and then you're paying like 500 bucks. So a lifetime or a month. Nah, a couple months, maybe like five months' time. You'll be like, the rip or something like that. So remember, you pay what you get for it. Something like that. <laughs> I see ya. If you have any questions, comment below. I'm definitely here to help. Um, yeah, see ya.